potato. Potatoes. Oh. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll open it, you read it. All right. Oh, that's a nice idea. <laughs> Make the best stop motion film starring this potato. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Should we oh. change the potato to have like a face? Or should we use the potato to make like different little guys to be in the film? Well, I mean, the, the options are endless, but I don't know anything about animation. Do you have much experience of the stop motion film industry? No, that's where you take two pictures. Yeah. And then, it, and then that's stop motion. That's the film. Yeah, just the two. Two pictures. We're not yeah. looking at an hour for this. We're looking for about 800 pictures. That'll make 800? Have that'll you make, lost your mind? That'll make a 30 second film. <laughs> an hour? Animation's really hard. It is, isn't it? So I think a pun title of yeah, yeah. scary Yeah, Okay, film. so what's Bigfoot? Uh, um, hateful Potato. Night of the Living Spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mash in the Attic. <laughs> <laughs> and we just have a mouth that we can stick on. Yeah! Loads of different yeah. mouths. No, it just goes like that, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so should we give it eyes or something? Yeah. Is that, that looks clearly like a potato masher, doesn't it? Oh, it yeah. Like... Oh, a potato masher. I see. But it's like an evil, evil one. Yeah. You know? That's why he's wearing a white suit. Now moving back where you were. Anakin. Anakin. It's a lot easier than I imagined. Yeah, leave it at that. First, the potato is happy, and then he needs to be a bit confused, like, hmm? And then he needs to be like, wah! Done. That's done? a wrap, I think. Congratulations. Well done. Relax. That's a wrap, guys. Oh, we still need a title. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to get better than Mash in the Attic. <laughs> Let's just clear up for uh, incredibly stupid people what stop motion is, Alex. Stop motion is things like Morph, uh, Wallace and Gromit, a lot of Poirot. You know, Poirot. is that... Is that <laughs> 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 it's that genre. <laughs> Let's have a look at this nonsense. Okay. Do, you want to start, do you want to start with the boy and his dad, Richard and Richard's son? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here they I'm not mistaken, a mutant potato who was living underground mm. sensed that a human was harming one of his kind, <laughs> uh, approached the house, successfully managed to wrestle the potato peel out of the human's hand, <laughs> murdered him, and then, in a chilling climax, we see the children of the mutant yes. potato coming out to exact their revenge on all of mankind. <laughs> it's pretty much exactly that. Other than, I don't know if the intentions were quite so awful, I think what happened was... The potato was trying to make friends with us, but the first <laughs> human it saw was Alex, who was killing a potato, and so Alex, unfortunately, essentially triggered the end of the world. Mm. <laughs> You're very, very good to work with. We told him when he opened the door to look left and right, and he did up. Of his own accord. <laughs> yeah. Just threw that in Absolutely for free. threw it in. You're a clever little godson, aren't you? <laughs> I'll give him a little tickle. <laughs> we are yet to see Joe, Catherine and Doc's short film. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I'm not falling. La, 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 la. Walking down the corridor. <laughs> Stay in <them> scared, boys. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, Mr. Spud. Um, you're a knob, mate. As always, you're in the right place at the right time, Mr. Spud. Huh? I know you don't require one of these martinis I have here. Uh, yeah, if you like. <laughs> because you are already smashed! Oh, Lord. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> smashed! <laughs> it's, a, it's a pun, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, it's a, it's a pun. Oh, piss off. <laughs> Never mind. Ugh. I go to. Pretty sweet Bond parody up until the point that James Bond, the potato, <laughs> said, Nah, you're a knob, mate. <laughs> that was all improvised. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah. A little fact, they did take pretty much exactly 800 pictures. Uh, John and Richard took 1,463 pictures. Wow. That was why it was, so, it was a much longer work. That one was so jerky, though. Like, the movement of our potato is crazy smooth. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see, like, one tiny hand and one massive hand constantly appearing. Do <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, man, that potato movement was crazy smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I think that might have won you. <laughs> well, hang on a minute. You know, I, I just want to see good cinema and stuff. For me, it's mm. not about slagging off other <laughs> people's work. <laughs> <laughs> I did That's wonder about that. the narrative of the potato who, for no reason, gets trod on by a high heel again. Yeah, what was that about? But, I mean, weird. James Bond films are often characterised mm. by a preposterous mm. ending, aren't they? No, no, yeah, but that's not... That just didn't make any sense. Didn't, there was no <laughs> narrative arc whatsoever. A feminist arc. Mm -hmm. I will be the first female potato James Bond. Yeah. <laughs> and feminist the brief feminist arc is, of course, what Noah's wife, that's what she... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bond should die with all the sexual harassment he does. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't disagree with that, but it's just not in the... <laughs> <laughs> in the spirit of the film, I thought that um, both of the films were superb, but I think the 28 Days Tater had the edge. Uh, three points for all the team members in that group, two points for all the team members in oh. the Bond group. Oh, Done. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>